owned a healing center by a lovely woman named Simone, a lovely Indian woman, very dear to me. And, uh, uh, and she agreed to, for us to publicize this. Now in 2003, Dubai was a very different place than it is today. The boom hadn't happened yet. It was still on the smaller side. And so it, was, it didn't have that same interface internationally that it does now. And I, I was very nervous, but I, I had to go with my guidance. And so I called it Healing the Second Chakra. That was the name of the course. It was a six week course working with all these practices, Healing the Second Chakra. The thing that was very special for me, and, and as an added confirmation, so I had one course that was for women only, and I had another course in the week that was for men and women. And the morning that I was teaching the women course only, the very first day, I, so I'm a swimmer, that's one of my very major spiritual practices, living um, on the Gulf, and, you know, I don't literally live on the Gulf, but not far away from the Arabian Gulf. I swim regularly. And that morning I went to go do my swimming. And I had, at that point, mind you, I had been living there for five, six years. And I had never seen this before in all my years of swimming there. And there was a snake, a sea snake. So I start swimming. You no know, sooner as I put my goggles on and took my dive in, there was a sea snake vertically in the depth. And it was high tide, so it, it took no time to get into deep water. There was a snake vertically just dancing in front of me. And I, I couldn't believe it. And first there was that rational mind, should I be, should I be worried? Is this dangerous? Is this like something? Because I, I kind of think they are poisonous, but I don't really remember. And, and I was like, wait, Cynthia, just, just, just be with this moment. Today's the day. Today's the day you're starting this work. And I just, I just danced with it as much as I could stay underwater without bobbing up. And I, I was just amazed. And then it came up. I, I had never seen a sea snake before. I don't know if any of you have seen them. They come up and they breathe. They come up to the surface, they took, it opened up its little tiny little mouth, took a little gulp of air, and then came